in the Cincinnati, and you know what? We predicted this. I'm not shocked. We we put it out on the Instagram story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did we did we think that he was ever gonna leave Tomlin? You know what I'm saying? And it's week one, so let's give the people what they want. That's his dog. So. Yeah, that's his brother, like low key. Like I, I, we might have to check ancestry.com to see like if there is a relationship. Wow. <laughs> Okay, let's get to it though. First game, Cincinnati. They're up against Pittsburgh. This line, I have this line at where is it? I have it at six and a half. Six and a half. All right. Okay, nation. No bet art here. But my luck going into this will be these big games. I'm riding with <laughs> the Steelers plus six and a half. Now. I know the Bengals just came from playing in the Super Bowl, and their ups their upside is high. You know, you can't deny that. But it was one thing about the NFL that I've come to learn is that sometimes that Super Bowl winning uh, losing team is a little overvalued going into the next season, and that's a perfect example of what I see right here. The Steelers, while you know, I know they have Money Mitch, and he's not you know the the most name brand guy, but. He's playing for a job, and he's a lot better than what they had last year with Big Ben, especially with the skilled players they have around them and the defense. Steelers are more than capable of keeping this a uh, very competitive game. Last year, the Bengals beat them up, so I believe that the Steelers will be ready for the challenge. So, give me the Steelers plus six and a half. Grizz's first lock. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Breaking news. Shocker of the season already. He's taking the Hold Pittsburgh. On, who, who's their QB? If you don't mind me asking. Is Ben still there? Money Trubisky. Mitch. Mitchell, Trubisky. Oh, Trubisky. Money Mitch. Whoa, he said that confidently. That yeah, I don't know why he said it like that. He's not a bum. Yo, hold on, hold on. You know where the last of the Bears were good? Who was their quarterback? I don't ever okay. remember the Bears being good. Uh, yeah. Jay Cutler, maybe. <laughs> oh, that was the time before. Re oh, no, Yo, Rex time. Grossman. Rex Grossman. No, that was the time before. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I remember them let's being stay, good. Let's stay out of chat, man. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Erlacher. He was holding them down. Okay. Oh, man. I do have a question for you, though. Uh, great take, by the way. Grizz, welcome back. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's only right that you would take the Steelers. Um, I remember having a look at their depth chart. They have Kenny Pickett, who is like uh, right out of Pittsburgh. He's like third or, or second maybe on the depth chart. And they still have Mason Rudolph. You mentioned that Trubisky's playing for a job. Is it because there's so much quarterback competition in Pittsburgh? Most definitely. And not only just in Pittsburgh, but like after this, you know? You never know where it's going to lead. He's playing for a long game, I believe, you know? So he has the youngin right behind him. Like he knows what it is already. So he's not trying to come off the field. Well said. This is a second chance, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. This is that time where, you know, I kind of remember when it happened to Michael Vick over in the Philadelphia Eagles and he stepped in for an injured McNabb and that was fresh off of his, you know, dog scandal. And uh yeah, he had no choice. Like you have to light it up in those kind of positions. So um, I'm, yeah, I'm.